Hello. <laughs> Hi again. Ow! Piper! Oh my god. Piper, why? I've done this intro about 40,000 times, so we're gonna hope this one's the winner. Hoping I could learn a bit about how to kill and take. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm so excited because I'm here with Piper and we're going to be doing the long-awaited puppy Q&A. I have been getting so many questions about Piper and I thought it'd be best to just combine them all into one video so it'd be easiest for you guys. And yeah, I'm so excited. Also, I am literally have been so excited the past few days because we hit 4.1 thousand views on my picking up my puppy video. So I was like so happy and that just made me really happy. So yeah, thank you guys for um, watching. Um, I'm really glad you guys are liking these videos. I'm going to be doing more puppy videos in the future because y'all seem to really like them. So yeah, I don't want to keep you guys waiting too long. So let's go ahead and get right on in to the puppy Q&A. So I'm going to answer the YouTube questions first and then I'm going to go over to Piper's Instagram where I ask her followers to ask her questions and I'm just going to go from there. So yeah, let's get started with the YouTube questions. So I kind of just got questions on all sorts of videos. Okay, so the first video I'm going to answer questions from is the picking up my puppy video. So the first question was from Antonia Dion's. I'm sorry if I misread that. She asked, did you buy her from a breeder? If so, how did you find one? So I'm going to just be honest with this one, despite the controversy. Um, so I knew going into getting a puppy that I wanted a certain breed. And I did look at all rescues, even like ones from hours from here and stuff. And I looked all over for like any animal rescues that I could find. And I just wasn't finding the right breed. And... I don't know, I just wasn't falling in love with Henny. I would definitely have got one from a rescue if I did find one, but I could not find the breed I was looking for. So I had some leeway on which breed I wanted, but I was mainly wanting like a golden puppy. I wanted a young puppy as well. So those were, it's really hard to find that when I was looking. So yeah, we were going out to look and we were looking at all different places. And on the way back, we saw, it was like a set up sign and it was like puppies for sale. And this really nice breeder was there. We got to know her a little bit and she was so sweet. And then she had a litter of puppies. Piper was the only one that was golden and we just picked her up and immediately fell in love. So that is how we found her. So yeah, we didn't exactly find a breeder. Like we didn't set up a special day to go out to a breeder. We just met this one one day and she was really nice. And so we got Piper there. So that is the first question. There's actually only one question on that video. So now I'm gonna go on to training your puppy video and see what the questions that are on that video. I am not gonna be able to pronounce this. It's from Sanja, Sanya, Osk. Okay, just gonna, I'm just gonna pop up the screen right here. Um, this, she said, she's very sweet, she said, you would just. So she asked, Sanja or Sanya asked, I'm planning to get a Shih Tzu, do you have any tips and is it hard to own a puppy in high school? Love your videos. So thank you so much. Um, I'm glad you're liking my videos. I So you're playing to get a Shih Tzu, so do you have any tips? So the tips I have for you getting a new puppy is making sure you definitely have enough time to spend with it and you're not out every day. Obviously I'm not spending every second of every day with her because I'm in high school and stuff, which I'll get onto that later. But make sure you have time to exercise them and you have like time to spend with them because Especially Shih Tzus, I feel like they need a lot of exercise and they have so much energy and um, Especially I mean Piper does I don't know about other Shih Tzus Also make sure you have enough chew toys because as you can see Piper does not know how to Chew her actual toys. She chews my finger instead, which does not feel very nice. I would definitely recommend making sure you're socializing them because I Feel like we could have done better with this with Piper. I mean she's very good and friendly, but she can get scared if you come up too fast and her she'll like back up so I feel like we could have done better with that. So I definitely recommend taking them to dog parks and yeah, and making sure they're socialized. They don't like when people raise their voices. So be quiet around them, be sweet to them. And yeah, um, make sure they're having a lot of fun. Get them used to getting in and out of the car. Um, be careful when they're up on beds with you. If you have them on a bed, make sure they don't jump down if they haven't done that before because 
We had to make sure Piper wouldn't like fall off and like break any legs because that has happened to like friends of ours and stuff. So you want to be careful with that kind of stuff. So yeah, and just make sure you're giving them lots of exercise and have enough time before you decide to invest your money in a dog. So yeah, that that's the tips I would give you. And your other question was, is it hard to own a puppy in high school? So um, this is going to vary for different people, but for me, I think... Other than having to set some time aside for myself, I do think um, that it's okay to own a puppy in high school, and I have a mom that does walk her when I'm at school and stuff, and spends time with her when I'm at school, and she's not just left in the house alone, so I do think that will vary. If you have like a mom or a parent that works and is gone all day, and you don't think you're going to be back with it, then I don't know, that's just kind of your decision, but I think that since I have a mom that's a stay-at-home mom and she can kind of be with her when I'm not here, that's a really good thing. So um, not for me, it's not that big of an obstacle that I'm in high school, but for other people it might be. Okay, so moving on to my ugly location photo shoot challenge. Let's, I asked you guys to ask me questions in that video, so let's see what questions we got there. Um, the first question was from Millie G. And it was, what do you use to clear tear stains? So the only thing I could really recommend for tear stains, I know it's common within Shih Tzus to get tear stains, like red tear stains. Piper doesn't really get those. She does, however, get gunk built up in her eyes. And the only thing I can really recommend for that, there's no like special cure. I would just say whenever you go to the groomers or get them a haircut, I would just say to make sure that their eyes are like cut around and that no hair is going in their eyes because that's what causes most irritation at least for Piper so that's what I would say she's been to the groomers recently and she just got her eyes like cleared out and stuff with getting her hair cut so yeah the next question is from Sonia again I really don't know how to pronounce your name um, I'm so sorry anyways she asked what is the hardest thing about getting a puppy and taking care of it for me personally I think one of the hardest things was having to wait till she was fully vaccinated to take her out anywhere like, we're going to the pet store, sorry we can't take her because she's not vaccinated, like, it's really important that you wait, because we got her at eight weeks and she still had to get, like, two sets of vaccinations before she could go out, one maybe, but even after getting the last shot, you again have to wait that extra, like, two or three weeks till they can go out, so yeah, that was really hard, because I really wanted to start taking out her on walks, on st walks and stuff, but I just had to get her exercise in the house where she wasn't gonna have any sort of possibility of getting sick. Um, so yeah, that was one of the hardest things. The first few nights her whining, I barely got any sleep, but that's okay because she's cute now. And probably the last thing is Shih Tzus are apparently the hardest to potty train. It took us about three, four months to get her fully potty trained and she still will have little accidents. Um, that's the hardest thing because I hate like the smell of like urine and stuff. So yeah, and her chewing my hair, which happens quite a lot. Um... Next question is from Samantha Page. She asked, if you were to choose a dog, would you choose her or a husky? So, um, thank you for asking this question. Um, I would say that personally, um, I love huskies. I think they're so pretty. I think they're so gorgeous. But I personally like a little bit of a smaller dog for me to take care of. I think since I am just a high schooler and I wanted Piper to be my responsibility, I think it'd be a bigger task to take care of a husky although they're so gorgeous, so yeah, and they need more exercise or whatever. I think that a smaller dog was a better fit for me, and I've just, we've just always had smaller dogs. Piper's really enjoying this phone. By the way, we got it from PetSmart. Anyways, the next question is from Milan's OPS. Thank you for asking this question. Can you make more videos of Piper like a morning routine? This isn't like a Q&A question, but I decided to answer it. Because, um, yes, I am so excited to do more videos of Piper, especially this summer. I'm going to have so much time to do that kind of stuff. So, yeah, if anybody else thinks that's a good idea for me to do, like, Piper's morning routine, I think that would be so cute. So, y'all, yeah, like this video or comment below if you want to see that. Um, I'm, I think that's a really good idea. So, yeah, I'd definitely be interested in doing something like that. Now I'm going to move on to questions she got on her Instagram. If you want to go follow her, she is underscore puppy Piper. And you can go follow her and see all sorts of updates. And pictures of her so yeah I'm gonna go to the picture I posted where I said that I'm doing a Q&A and let's go ahead and read some of the comments that we got on that first from Alex hey Alex um, thanks for asking your question 
what is the biggest challenge? So I'm getting a lot of questions like that and I already sort of answered this question. Like when she goes out, she loves to like splash in puddles. Her hair is not like, it's like quite long or it was before she got groomed. So she used to get so soaked in like literal dreadlocks when she got out of the water. So um, we'd have to give her a bath every single time we got off of a walk. That was the struggle. Like the struggle was so real. So yeah, that's why we get her groomed. Um, Sophia asked so many questions, so thank you, Sophia. Um, why did you choose the name Piper for your puppy? For the longest time, I wanted to name my puppy Teddy, because I knew that I wanted, like, a teddy bear breed. Um, but Teddy wasn't really fitting. I was just kind of not feeling it for her. I came across Piper, just a name, on, like, a website or, like, a YouTube video, and I fell in love immediately. I thought it, like, matched her. The next question Sophia asked was, when did you know you were ready to take on the responsibility? Of owning a dog so there wasn't like a specific day that I was like oh my gosh I need a puppy but um, basically I started like talking to my mom I was like I should get a puppy like kind of just joking around and I was like not being serious and like after every day of kind of just throwing it out there sometimes she was like we should get you a puppy and I was like what so we started actually getting serious about it and she started actually considering getting me a puppy and then I was like that's a good idea because I'm in high school right now and I feel like it's a good time if I did want to take her to college. I want to say October is when we started thinking about it or September and then we got her. It took us so long to find. We didn't even know what we were doing like the day we went out to find a dog. We were just like we just better hope <laughs> what we're doing but yeah thank you for that question. That was a good question. The next question that Sophia asked was what kind of shampoo and conditioner do you use for Piper? Um, not not a specific shampoo or conditioner do we like use every single time. I don't use a dog shampoo for her because I feel like normal shampoo is just more gentle and sh uh, her and Rascal both have really super sensitive skin. So we just use um, human shampoo and conditioner and I think it just works better for her. The last question Sophia asked was, will Piper get a brother or sister anytime soon? No, not anytime soon. Um, she has a brother, Rascal. And she has some friends, so I don't think she needs a brother or sister. I'm not about to dig on three dogs in one house. That's just, like, two dogs is enough. So that's all the questions we got asked in that picture. I did get a direct message from Tamatat. Oh, it's so cute. Look how cute this dog is. Okay, we're going to just answer that question. What's your favorite thing to do? Like, referring to what Piper's favorite thing to do is. Um, Piper's favorite thing is going on walks and exploring and playing with Rascal, I would say. Um, she loves playing with other dogs and fetch and games like that. She loves everything. She loves life. But she's living it up in the city. <laughs> I'm just looking in the viewfinder. <sighs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And she also loves water. Um, I'm super excited because this is going to be her first summer. And I'm going to see if she wants to go swimming. You want to go swimming? You want to go swimming? We have, like, a little paddling pool. Like a small, super small, like blow up pool, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if she wants to go in. I'm not gonna force her or anything, but like that'd be fun. So, Grace, my name's Grace, but <laughs> the other Grace, <laughs> she asked, she asked, how old are you? And Piper is, okay, well she was born August the 28th. I think she's about nine months. I'm not gonna like do an exact date, but she's about nine months. So yeah, that's super exciting. Her birthday is August 28th. To think, Piper was being born when I had my first day of high school is kind of crazy. But yeah, thank you for your question. That is all my questions that I got for this Q&A. I thank all of you for asking questions. And um, yeah, again, if you guys want to see that morning routine, I'm super up for it. And any other videos you want to see with Piper or just any other summer videos you want to see in general, let me know in the comments below. And what is she doing? <laughs> Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe so we can reach 300 subscribers that would be cool and i will see you guys in my next video bye